Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank. A warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those kind of webinars and today it's time to talk about JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. And it's a pleasure for me to have you all here. And um, as I can see from the names, it looks like we are really quite international, um, at least uh, what I can guess out of those names. But anyhow, we talk today about JFD Invest and the 4th of September, 2019, 11 o'clock, that has to be mentioned as well. JFD Invest is a quite cool trading platform in terms of it's a digital wealth management platform. So finally, what you do is you act as a portfolio manager. You select between pre-selected trading strategies and those selected strategies by your own then are then copied into your JFD Invest trading account. So it's a little bit of social trading, it's a little bit of copy trading, but still you are completely involved since it's always your decision which strategies you select and what is the amount of money you allocate to a given strategy. And you see that is already something I always mentioned um, because you are acting as a portfolio manager and one of the maybe most important rules is to diversify any investment. The same is true for um, JFD Invest. So my recommendation is always to not put all the money in a single strategy. I would always go for uh, a couple of strategies in order to uh, create a diversified portfolio. But on the other hand, it's also a process of matching your personal preferences about trading and investing with those kind of strategies because there might be strategies which are more risky, less risk involvement. So it's a little bit of, yeah, what's your preference? Okay, I know everybody wants to earn money, but it's a question of what kind of drawdowns do you allow? Um, do you have a maximum value for that? So maybe some strategies would not fit into, um, into those kind of preferences. Today we talk, um, of course, in general about JFD Invest, as I introduced it already a little bit. But of course, we talk about the highlights of uh, last week. And uh, since it has been a strategy by myself, a BIP generator, I can show you much more details about that strategy. We will go directly into the master account and then I explain a little bit more how the strategy is being trading and um, yeah we talk about my personal JFD Invest account because I have one since the very beginning at JFD Invest which has been last year September but the year is not over already uh, but almost uh, 20 uh, second, I think, or uh, something like that. Uh, and you can see what I have achieved by following strategies with my personal JFD Invest account. Before we finally start, you know the procedure I have always um, to show the risk disclaimer during any webinar, and therefore I will do it. And uh, what's more or less uh, written here is we talk about trading, we talk about investing, but finally, you do your, all your steps by your own and on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining, but it has to be mentioned during a webinar at least once. Let me start with the highlights um, of last week and then we go into JFD Invest and explain how you can be part of JFD Invest as well. So here we have uh, the, the top perform of last week. Later, we will have a bigger uh, graph of uh, that performance. You may think, hmm, it doesn't look that steady, ups and down. I would agree. But you see as well that that strategy is trading exclusively British pound US dollar, which has been exact uh, since uh, more than 12 months, a really tricky one, a tricking symbol uh, because, you know, British pound is involved. That means all the discussions about Brexit, yes or no, um, as they have an impact on that currency. And honestly, even with that in mind, the strategy is doing quite well. Um, 
and we'll we'll see. Um, I think in a few weeks as everything will calm down with uh, British pound, and then the strategy I think will go only into one direction. And of course, no, North is preferred. So last week uh, we have other good strategies as well, Hyperion once again, and Brimstone. I will touch those as well because they are really doing a quite good job. But what is really JFT Invest um, completely? Uh, so it's quite easy. Uh, if you start at uh, the homepage of JFD and then you go for investing and JFD Invest, uh, then you are almost in the trading platform, but only almost. Let me first scroll down a little bit because then you can see some more strategies and you see what we are really talking about. We are talking about trading strategies having dub double digit gross numbers. Uh, you see the return, for example, of Hyperion is exceeding the 100% level, meaning that account has more than doubled since inception, which is one and a half year about. So it's quite impressive and quite profitable trading strategies. But you see others are doing not the same, uh, not the same uh, return, but double digit as well. You see already some more key figures, and we will talk about those key figures of trading strategies when I go directly into the trading platform because those key figures and all the details we we make absolutely transparent for any strategy uh, those details should help you in your personal review process and i strongly recommend to do that going into the um the, the gross graphs of any strategies looking for the drawdowns for the potentials but the downsides as well and then finally doing exactly what i call the matching process between a given strategy and your personal preferences to become part of jft invest it's quite easy it's just four steps um, you open a jft invest profile that is simply the green button sign up um, no money is involved you can do that step anytime <clears throat> you just have to register and that means um, you you give your email and a given password and then you have a profile then you if you like, then you might open a special JFD Invest account. So you cannot use, even if you are a client of JFD, you cannot use your regular trading account because you need a special one. That special one has um, two, two special things. One is um, you get a leverage of one to 100, which is the one for professionals. And that we can offer because um, yeah, you follow professional traders and therefore you get the same conditions. Maybe you might, might think the downside is you cannot really trade by your own in terms of uh, opening individual trades like going uh, short on Euro, US dollar. The only thing uh, you can do is follow given strategies as shown already a little bit. Finally, you connect the two your profile and the account and uh, after you have deposited uh, that account you can start um, with those copy trading activities and that is exactly what is JFD. You select a strategy and then according to money allocation those um, strategies are copied directly into account. Any new trade is directly copied to your account as well and um, you don't have to do anything else. So you don't need an extra computer, which is running 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. Um, so no extra infrastructure. Uh, the only thing is you do it on the platform and then you go. So that's all you need to become part. And the other thing you can do anytime already now, even without any profile, you can use the so-called guest access. And that is what I start here now. Starting even as a guest um, gives you more details about the strategies so you can do already your review process. And um, the only thing you can't see is that you can't see any closed trades or even open trades of those strategies. Um, with a profile, you can do. Uh, at least the closed ones. 
Okay, now you see that um, we have uh, more strategies than just the five uh, top performers. In total, we have 15, so there's a second page here. And um, you see, once again, the same kind of uh, already mentioned key figures. But now I think it's a good time to talk about those much more in detail. Um, yeah, why not starting with Hyperion? Uh, it was a top the second top performer of last week, and I will follow up with uh, um, the other one, the BIP generator and butterfly uh, later. So pressing the button of that strategy gives you much more details about the given strategy here. Um, and you see the overall growth uh, that is already reaching the 100% level, as you can see. And uh, you see, for example, the monthly return table, um, okay, a totally green one would be perfect and there are green ones uh, for example butterfly uh, is totally green and others are almost green so without a single negative month uh, which is a fantastic result and you see um, if i scroll down a little bit more then you see statistics about the strategy about a number of executed trades and so on and so forth maybe it might be important for you as well and your uh, selecting uh, procedure, uh, what are the instruments being traded? And in this case, um, yeah, the majority of trades is uh, being executed on DAX and Dow Jones, um, a few trades on, on three other symbols, but absolutely majority is uh, two major indices like DAX and Dow Jones. So number of trades being executed is quite high. So uh, there are statistics behind and as you can see, the track record of that strategy is already exceeding one and a half year. So that's good um, as well. So the longer the statistics and the good statistics, the better. That maybe is the first part. The other part is we have to think, oh, there are drawdowns. And that is important to, to, um, to realize that as well. And as it is with normal trading, there's another key figure I would like to, to touch a little bit more in detail, uh, and that is equity balance deviation, which is really important. An account has always two numbers, equity and balance, and if you don't have an open trade, then those two numbers equal. But in the moment you open a trade and um, in the first millisecond you are always in the minus because you have to pay the costs of trading like commissions and spread. Um, yeah, then it comes to an, a deviation between the two. And if the trade is against you, that deviation might increase uh, even. And that is exactly displayed with equity balance deviation. We have the maximum number already uh, in the key performance um, table, but we can look to that versus time as well. And you can see that this is characteristic of that trading strategy, that it has always a lot of open trades and those trades might be in the minus as well. So on average, just as a guide to the eye, minus 10% is uh, an average number here. What does it mean? So if I have an account of 10K, it would mean I have floating losses of 1K. And now it comes back to my sentence, what about your personal preferences? Is that too much? Yes or no? I cannot give you any guidance about that. Um, it's only a question for you. And if that is too much, okay, then uh, the strategy Hyperion would not fit to your preferences. If you allow even minus 40%, perfect match. And you see what kind of returns are possible with that kind of trading strategy. The other thing I would like to mention, you remember the, the growth, okay. And now we go for the equity. First thing you realize is that there are two green lines. And that's once again, equity and balance and the deviation we discussed already. The second thing you might realize, oops, what's that steep step down here? And the answer is quite simple. We haven't seen that step in the growth and that automatically means there has been a deposit or a withdrawal. And in this case, it was a withdrawal. It was a withdrawal on that master account of that trader. That does not have any impact 
to to your account it's not taking out any money from your end um definitely answer is no but the trader decided hey i took take out uh about uh, 25k so why not he has earned a lot of money before so uh he can do that so whenever you see such steps in that graph always compare it to the growth and then you realize whether that has been um, a deposit or withdrawal uh, <coughs> and so you can answer that question um, by your own by yourself as well now let's go for a bip generator because that was a, a top performer of last week bip generator as you can see in a second um, is uh, trading I go for instruments here and then you can see okay it's trading exclusively one symbol british pound us dollar we have other strat strategies which are portfolio in its own so uh, if you go for example for gold rush then you will find that strategy is trading more than 30 different instruments in this case it's just a single symbol strategy and um, you can see the growth here of course by a self equity balance deviation normally is quite doing a good job there was an exception um in may april may last year uh, this year sorry and normally it's doing a quite good behavior with in terms of equity balance deviation as well but what is this strategy really doing and i mentioned um that is a strategy from my end and therefore we can go directly into the master account and uh, here we are you see a couple of lines what do the lines tell you those lines are trades and a green line is always um, a line with a positive result and a red one is with a negative result but you can see that there are groups of that Let, let's focus here on that you see originally there was one trade opened here and um, then others uh, have been opened later and everything has been short trades finally that trade sequence and that's the way I call them ended here and the complete treat, uh, trade sequence ended positive even if there are some of those trades in the minus the overall result of that trade has been a positive one and you, the other thing you might see let me open here then you can see it a little bit better that the strategy is trading long and short simultaneously you can see that uh, there are short trades open and a long trade open as well that is strange maybe and you're right it, it, it is strange and normally i would not recommend something like that but the special character of that strategy is looking for instruments which have um, an overall not trendy behavior because then you can go long and short even simultaneously and just wait until both go into the take profit and therefore you can realize it's right now a hard time for british pound us dollar because sometimes we have a quite trendy behavior in one direction and that is what what finally leads to those, those steps down um, within um, the growth the other good thing about the strategy is the strategy is using stop loss levels and whenever you see such a step down here the stop loss has been reached okay so on the one hand the strategy is using trade sequences so it, it's rebuying in losses which normally is not a good thing but if you apply a stop loss as well then it's a good idea and when the trading instruments comes down then the strategy is perfect and we are think exactly one or two months away from finally um, that british pound will come to normal and then you i expect a much better behavior for this time uh, than we have had in the past nevertheless there's a good growth of this strategy and if you start today for example okay there's no guarantee what happens uh, next time or in the, in the near future but i expect 
uh, something going north once again um, because uh, British pound US dollar will calm down and that is the ideal environment for such a trading strategy. Long and short, simultaneously, and let me explain one thing else here. If I would stop all the trades, open trades right now, and just starting with a blank account, then strategy would open uh, in 40 minutes, a long and a short trade, absolutely simultaneously, um, because that is the starting point of any trade sequence. Right now, there are already trade sequences, so might be it might be that um, at full hour, hour uh, it will do something, uh, but there's no guarantee. If I would close everything, then uh, I can guarantee that at 12 um, a.m. two new trades, two new trades would be opened. Okay, that's BIP generator, a quite interesting strategy, and there are others doing similar things. And that's the third one I would like to discuss a little bit more. And that is um, the strategy Butterfly, which is uh, uh, third best um, of last week. But overall, it looks quite interesting as well, as you can see with the growth here within that chart. And <coughs> as I mentioned, Butterfly is a uh, strategy with a totally green um, monthly return table. And it's trading a couple of more instruments um, besides British pound, US dollar. It's trading others, other what I would call major, uh, because all those have low costs of trading, uh, so spreads are quite uh, low. Uh, so no exotic forex pairs like um, Euro, Polish, Slotty, or um, something like that. Just majors. And it's doing a good job um, with those instruments having executed more than 2,000 trades within almost one year. So, and here you see the overall growth, uh, which is quite excellent. And as I mentioned, equity balance deviation as an important key figure as well. You see, okay, there has been a minus 10%. Um, once again, it was May this year. Hmm, why not? Um, and, but overall, as uh, the drawdowns are by far not that heavy. So you see, now it comes to you. Looking for growth at all, Hyperion is the best, no question. Looking for less growth, but more stability, Butterfly would be an alternative and others as well. And here you see what you need is a portfolio. Why, why putting all the money just into the best one? why not going for a diversified portfolio? And that is exactly what I have been doing uh, since um, the very beginning of JFD Invest. I opened a JFD Invest account as well. And what I show here is exactly my personal account. I'm following uh, in total six different strategies and you see my overall result here. Okay, until my it was absolutely more than fantastic. Uh, then I have had a few steps down, as you can see. What's the reason? Yeah, it's my money management. Because you can, you can, for if you follow a strategy, you can say, okay, if that if a given strategy is exceeding a certain loss of let's say twenty percent, then all then please call uh, close all trades, and that is what you can do. How to do that? I will show you in a second. But first, let me um, show you which strategies I follow as we speak. And you see those six strategies are creating my portfolio. Uh, I would like to put Butterfly here as well, but hmm, you may see unallocated amount of money, 200 euros. So there's no uh, money left. But virtually, I can show you the steps um, because then you get a little bit more familiar with the platform. And let me once again um, remind you what I do here, I can do wherever I am, even on holiday. I just need access to the internet and I can do those kind of steps. And now I said, okay, I want to follow Butterfly. I finally, I can't do because uh, there's no 
money left. But I can show you, at first you have to say, okay, how much money uh, you want to allocate? Um, and the minimum amount is 3K, okay. And uh, the other thing you can do is you can apply risk management and pressing that button and accepting the terms, then you have a slider and that is a mentioned drawdown. And if that is exceeded, then all trades are closed in your copied account and uh, no new trades are opened again. So and that has happened to uh, some strategies during my drawdown phase. <coughs> Nevertheless, I like that because I limit my risk. And therefore, that is another quite important um, uh, parameter as well. Since I haven't um, mentioned uh, that topic, so there's always a performance fee involved, which is 25%, but that is only if there's performance and only on the performance and not on your account. So there's no management fee, no baseline. So only if strategy is earning money, then uh, on a month and base, you ha might have to pay that performance fee. Why do I say you might have to pay? Because the performance fee is according to high watermark principles, which means only if you copied a trading um, account is reaching new highs, then you have to pay that fee. So that is exactly uh, the principle of high watermark. And you see minimum investment is another important uh, thing. How to find that before you follow? You go here within the strategy for the details and there you can see the minimum investment, in this case 3K, and you can see the performance fee, which is always for any strategy 25%. There are other things you can see, how many investors are following the strategy and how much money is involved with the followed um, accounts. <coughs> and in this case, it's 26K. So you see, overall, JFT Invest is more than just a social trading platform. It's a digital wealth management and you still act as a portfolio manager. And I can tell you that is a quite cool job. I can only recommend. And you have a good selection of different strategies. And if you, if you write down your preferences, then that selection procedure will be more or less straightforward and um, having the the opportunity to diversify um, for diversification that is quite excellent because that means uh, you can you can um, minimize your risk and hopefully maximize your profits. What you can achieve? I think I have a good example here. My gross profit is uh, almost 30%. Um, my target was 25 at the months and base, and not at the months, sorry, at the year for one year, I think looks good for me. Um, so um, I started at yeah 22nd last year, and uh, hopefully I can go north once again, a little, a little bit higher slope, um, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can manage that. If you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to drop me a line and uh, I will show you my email address once again. Um, or you may uh, send an email to support at jfdbank.com. Whatever you do, we will help you. And um, you see my name, S. Friedrichowski, but just call me Stefan. My last name is really complicated, I know. Today's webinar was really in the middle of the week. Uh, I will do next one next week, uh, maybe at a different day and a different time. Uh, you will see, as always, on uh, via email or directly on the homepage of JFD. We have hundreds of webinars in order to improve your investing experience. And um, I hope to see you again and enjoy the day and enjoy the rest of the week. Have a good time. Bye-bye.